Hi guys, so I wanted to do you guys some videos and didn't actually get a chance to do you guys some videos so I'm doing this one. Um, the title is obviously self-explanatory. Um, why are those who are doing the work it's things seeming to go wrong or it seems like, you know, somebody else is not getting their karma um, when you're on the right path and you seem like you know you'll have one step forward and two steps backwards the higher you ascend the quicker you um, go through your karma and clear your karma so it may seem like a lot of things are coming to you and people who you might conceive as negative or bad people they're not getting their karma sort of thing you may feel it like that um and the truth is like i said when you're ascending you're clearing karma a lot quicker and obviously those who are still in a low vibration um are not actually clearing their karma okay they're like refusing to wake up or things like that we see this on um, twin flame journeys and things like that. So how to keep the strength because the higher you ascend, you know, the more it can feel like you're under attack um, or the more people you seem to lose from your life when, you know, um, you'll look at videos and you're promised new people and new things are coming in and it seems like you know more people are leaving right um but we've got to make space for these new people to come in and people who are not on our vibration because what the things we want we have to be in alignment with you've probably heard that um numerous times um so how to be in alignment what is in alignment um basically um, in very layman terms, being who you are, being your authentic self and being able to stand in your own truth and not wanting or feeling like you need something else because or that you are separated from anything because we are all one. Um, so we're not really separated um, when we stop seeing ourselves as a fragment of the divine rather than the divine or, you know, as a whole, the collective, um, as we stop seeing others as um, maybe bad people, um, things like that then we'll find that we're in alignment we're not passing judgment on others we understand they have their path we have our path and if it's to collide it's to collide if we are doing this negative waiting i call the seven of pentacles it means i'm sat at home waiting for something to happen i want something but i'm sat here waiting for it to happen and i'm thinking about it i'm focusing on it and it's not manifesting we are told the you know for manifesting we need focus that's true we need to know what we want um let, let me give you an example if you was to say i want to manifest a dollar a penny whatever um on the floor would you hold as much attachment or focus on it if you just said to yourself i'm going to manifest um a penny on the floor would you be like so heartbroken if it didn't manifest but if you feel like i want to manifest um, a romantic partner and it didn't manifest instantly you would feel sort of let down and more attachment so you're sort of lowering your vibration again feeling let down feeling that sadness that lack that oh it didn't manifest it didn't work i must be doing something wrong something wrong with me there's a number of things that you can think and go through in these times um so i think a lot of people think that you know once you've ascended you stay up there and that's it it's 
you can sort of like feel back down and you do sort of um, bump into challenges over and over like because you're clearing karma a lot quicker um, and I think a lot of people start off wanting to be in alignment to maybe bring in a romantic partner on money so you know if we're manifesting 1p or maybe a hundred thousand pound you know do you think like can you see like the difference where you would be like I didn't manifest 1p so it don't matter I, you know but money in manifesting the energy of money has all the same value it's the same it's the same whether it's 1p or a hundred thousand pound um so you know that's what we've got to learn to this is what I want this is what I desire I'm going to work towards it and I'm not going to put my focus solely on thinking every day where is it where is it where is it you know the art of letting go once we can do this um amazing things happen <laughs> um you know I was speaking to my friend yesterday or something and I said you know um seems like for me <laughs> men are like buses you could wait a long time for one and then they'll all come along at once because you're not actually interested in men you focus on somewhere else okay it's just an example um so if your focus is on a certain person and why they're not coming to you and things like that it's actually sending like i try to explain to people like just a thick wall of energy that you can't walk through it's like a wind that they could be trying to walk against and you know it's pushing against them because you're always concentrating on them if you let go and you started living your life um understanding that you know it's coming and but i don't need to think about it right now right now i want to focus on my own happiness i want to enjoy my life you know because to be able to manifest we have to be in the energy of joy um and i remember i probably told you guys this story before when i started um manifesting um i did it exactly like i just explained it to you i was like i'm gonna find one p on the floor and i'm gonna celebrate it and feel joy that yay i did it and really over celebrate it so i went to the shop and i found it and i was like oh now i have to follow through and you know be over excited about this one p in the street and let people think well she's crazy everybody probably thinks i'm crazy anyway i don't really care but um yeah <laughs> i was like yay i can't believe i actually did it and you know that joy and that um excitement that i did it and it just manifested like that it was literally i was thinking it walked to the shop find it and you might say well it's a coincidence well we could say seeing 11 11 on the clock every you know every time it's there is a coincidence but it's not right um it's these synchronicities that keep lining up for us and keep telling us you know yes i'm here yes you're doing it yes we are a collective so you know and then i remember coming home and um i folded away some clothes and i took some out and had some money in the pocket and I was like wow you know I'm still manifesting and went on from there I really think because I'm not a person that's like oh, I really want money um that probably money was easier to manifest than um other things I might be constantly focused on like or I miss someone, I want to manifest a friend, a lover, anything like that. So I just think, you know, I'm trying to explain if you're not bothered about love, then it usually just comes into you. But once we're in alignment with ourself, um, anything just comes to us. Absolutely anything. Um, I always want to get out there that when people will watch the secret and these manifestation videos about how i manifested ten thousand pound and things like that um 
I watched them also and didn't really get anything from them. I was like, okay, it says do this and it's not manifesting. Um, so yeah, I worked out my own techniques for manifesting and what works for me because you have to find your boundary that do you believe that you can manifest £10,000 instantly? Because if you don't believe, then, you know, there's doubt there, there's lack there. But if you believe, like, maybe I can manifest $5, um, start off like that and then be like, tell yourself, yeah, I really did it. I manifested these $5 and then next $20 whatever it is for you, just start where you're comfortable and where you truly believe. And I'll give you power and strength to show you, because like I said, all money is the same energy, no matter about the amount, amount. but it's just the way we put importance on maybe a larger sum of money. You may start to think, well, I'm not worthy of that. Money's evil and things like that, you know, a lot of people will watch these videos um, about Illuminati, let's say, and let's say your dream is to be a singer, but you think like you've seen a lot of videos about devil worshipping or something like that, um, <clears throat> how to get into the music industry, and you think like, well, it's just, I don't want to be part of that, so then you're not manifesting your own dreams, okay? To be in alignment with oneself, we've got to be doing creative things. So, for an example, I am Cancer North Node and Capricorn South Node. Um, so they're the mother and father, you know, Saturn uh, planets there. So, and as my North Node is in Cancer now it's actually moved into cancer again. So it's like a focus, a drive on whether I'm being creative, um, a chance to change my um, destiny to, like if you have a self node in cancer, it can mean in your past life that you was like a business person and um, the North node now being in cancer means you need to like make a family home and, um, put your focus there and say it's easy to fall back on your self node and make money but your true desire you'll feel a calling at this time that you know your soul wants to lead you in a certain direction so while being led in these certain directions um we can feel doubt and that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about like um it's not that once you've ascended that you don't feel doubt. Um, we can feel like we're, our mind's under attack. Um, a lot of people have insomnia. I know I do. I, everybody's always saying to me, why aren't you asleep? And I'm like, when I woke up, I woke up, right? Um, so, yeah, it's just... A lot of things okay that you've got to be aware of because once you wake up you can feel like you're absolutely going crazy um, because you're like I hear this calling I feel this pull to my destiny what's and you'll watch a hundred videos saying what's my um, destiny what's my path what's my life path and things like that and you're seeking these answers because um, you know your soul is pulling you to something you just don't know what and then you'll have this um anxiety and then you don't want to be around crowds of people because these crowds of people are asleep and you feel like you know just alone in the world even because like if you're walking around a lot of people who are asleep um you can feel very alone like somebody said to me yesterday why do they call it the great american dream and i said maybe because everybody's asleep you know because the majority are asleep and there's you know like 
couple of hundred thousand people like wake up wanting the rest of the world to wake up and when you are walking around trying to include people because once you do start sending you want to share it you want other people there with you you want other people to be able to manifest like you can and you want other people to be awake and seeing how life's supposed to be um so you know when people walk around saying wake up they can get these names that they're crazy or you know the stigma attached to people who think for themselves so a lot of people want to stay asleep and you know each to their own is my favorite saying you know when somebody says to me they do something this way and they do something that way and I say each to their own I'm not here to try and judge people I'm not here to try and force people um I am also here for a human experience so I'm I have my own human errors as well um so yeah I just think that when you can grasp the fact that the energy is the same across the board for all amounts of money or love then you guys will be easily manifesting and like i said that's why i want to share how you guys can wake up and that while you're awake this is what you're feeling and it's okay and it's perfectly fine and it's perfectly normal um you know so yeah we have insomnia maybe we don't eat right because then you realize the stuff you start to feel it when you put different stuff in your body and you start to feel like don't it don't feel right to me anymore um maybe eating certain things and I'm not hungry like I used to be and the more we focus in this life on material things um the more we will move away from our destined purpose don't get me wrong once we're aligned everything we have in abundance so you don't need to worry about money like my north node like i said being in cancer i should this lifetime be trying to make a home um you know and trying to create that loving environment this time um use the sort of mother energy and then abundance will flow to me okay um just by stepping back rather than in the capricorn south node and working 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 and expecting this life to have a different result um i need to step towards um my north node so maybe you have difficulties in life and you're trying to find the problem so the answer is your north node which in turn leads you to your south node but yeah that's just um another um like tricky predicament if you you know don't know it sort of thing but it it will like i'm saying if you follow your instinct your soul at this time you'll hear your soul's calling um so what we're supposed to be leading towards so if i stay home and be mother and create this loving environment create a home and things like that the money will come to my home funny enough i work from home right um and it is actually something that um i love doing like i go above and beyond like i'm telling you if you email me for anything i'll answer you back because i just really want to make sure everyone's okay everybody who needs somebody to be there for them i want to make sure somebody's there for them um I've often, it's probably because of the Scorpio in me as well. Like I'm a control freak and I want everybody to be okay and things like that and think I can control the world. I can't, but you know, I'm an idiot who's going to try. <laughs> um, so yeah, if 
we then, you know, like I say, um, feel that pull, that calling, um, because we've got a lot of activity in Capricorn right now. And we are all going to start feeling that come the 25th of December, we're going to feel like major changes. And I think the first eclipse is on the 25th of December, actually. And we're going to be like, right, I want to, I'm feeling that pull. I want to go in this new direction. We're going to start feeling inspired and wanting to make moves and, you know, take action and things like that. Um, so I really hope that if you want some sort of guidance, you feel like you need to reach out to me, you can. Um, I know a lot of people do these channels for the wrong reasons, but I always want to make myself and keep myself in check that I'm here to offer out what I started with that same intention that same love that I wanted to give to other people to be there for maybe a person who doesn't have somebody there or feels like they don't have somebody there at maybe the worst time in their life. Um, so yeah, I do hope if you need me, you reach out to me. Okay. And if you're feeling this insomnia and you're feeling something coming, um, for me, it's not just one eclipse, I'll feel insomnia. It's like, it's been a long time. I do, um, I slept very well last week, actually, but um, yeah, this week I seem to be back to the awake at night times. My um, perspective on that is actually that um, we're all supposed to be looking up to the stars and um, things like that, like in the ancient times, you know, looking for that wisdom that people so long ago knew and taught constantly. Whereas now we really have to seek if we want to find that extra knowledge when, you know, things, we feel, kind of feel like things are trying to be hid from us in this these times. Um, so yeah, I feel like we've probably all got insomnia because we're supposed to be um, out looking up at the stars and talking about it, discussing ideas and plans and taking action on those things. And, you know, um, a lot of the time people will say, well, the humans can't build the pyramids, but, you know, I bet we could do magical things if we all put our hearts and minds into it and made a plan, right? Um, or maybe it was the aliens, who knows? <laughs> um, so yeah, I wanted to tell you guys, I wanted to do a video on um, no friends part two because somebody said to me, look, I'm this age, my kids have grown up, where do I go from here? Um, how do I meet people with the same interest? And I said to them, um, just do things that make you happy. Because if you're doing things that make you happy, you're going to find like-minded people around that same place, right? The people who enjoy doing things um, like you do. I don't know how many times people said to me, like, just turn off your comment section. You don't have to put up with that crap. And I'm like, no, my comment section is for people to meet like-minded people and know that they're not alone in this world. I'm not just doing it for the views. I'm doing it because I want people to see and conversate and share ideas, even debate. And, you know, I don't want everybody just agreeing. I want everybody like, no, the aliens built the pyramids. No, they didn't. People did, you know, I, I that's, I want people to share ideas and share love and positivity. And I always try to catch negative comments um, if not, just try to ignore them, you know, there's always going to be people who try to pull down um, people who are ascending and they'll say they're doing it in the name of everything but the truth, because the truth is, you ready? You are the truth. You are the truth. 
I'll tell you something else my friend said to me. She said, being single is not a punishment, it's a choice. And it's true because you'll say that you've got nobody but and you've got no offers and things, but I bet you do have some offers. Or you may be like me and be an introvert and close yourself off from the world because when you're an empath, it gets crazy out there. Like people were saying to me, are you going Christmas shopping? No. I'm not going to stand in a crowd of people and, you know, even when they rub shoulders with me, I get all these bad energies, visions. I have, no, thank you. The blessing and the curse that is the internet, I do all my shopping online. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to chat with you guys because I promised you a video, but I didn't get time to do it. Um, and it was because of the Friends Part 2 that I wanted to do the videos. Um, I wanted to show you guys that um, I traveled. Um, I traveled to Paris um, to see the sights. Um, because I thought if I wait for somebody to do it with, I'm never going to go, right? If I'm waiting for one of these guys to come along and sweep me off my feet. A knight in shining armor, knight of swords, knight of pentacles, knight of cups, knight of wands, none of them. <laughs> None of them came, so I had to take myself in the chariot, right? And that's what I was saying to you guys, just go, just do it, okay? Um, there's no time like now. Don't waste your time because, like, you're only going to be left with regret. I've done this myself, like, wasted time, like... You know, when we're 15, we say, I wish I played out on my bike more when I was five. When we're 25, we say, I wish I actually went to school at 15. When we're 35, we're saying, at 25, I wish I would have actually just enjoyed myself and stopped worrying about my future. And at 45, we say, well, I wish I knew, you know, at 35, what I know now. You know, and there's always this looking back and regretting. And have you ever looked at pictures of yourself and, you know, say when you were 25 and when you were 25, you didn't feel so great. You had all these body issues and you look at, back at pictures and you're now 35 and you say, wow, I looked amazing. Why didn't I enjoy that body? Or, you know, you get to 60 and you say, you look back at pictures and you say, what? I look amazing. Why didn't I enjoy myself? But in the moment, you're too busy worrying. And what is this worrying going to do for us? Like, it's not serving you any purpose. You know, let go of these body issues and um, that you're not good enough and that you can't manifest and you don't have, you do have everything you need. You are the truth. Okay, like, have you ever seen, pe there's this guy who lives near me, um, we grew up on the same street, and I think he's just so amazing, um, nothing particular special about him, not great looking, um, you know, if we're talking about the photographs, and um, nothing that you would think is, wow, he's extraordinary. He got on his bike and he cycled to every country in the world. And he met, he's, he posts his journey on Facebook. So he's he meets people who will, you know, happy to meet him. And, you know, when, when you feel like there's nobody good in the world, but then you see this guy on his journey where he'll bump into people who will offer him soup and bread and a meal for the day. And he's really seeing the world. And, you know, I used to look at people like that and be like, wow, I wish I could do that. What's stopping me? Nothing stops us except for ourself, our ego. Um, all these voices that tell us no and 
that's what I'm saying. When we're ascending, it doesn't mean we won't hear any more voices. Our mind probably comes under attack even more because we're like, we know the truth, we're awake. But you then start to doubt and think, why is it not working for me as quickly as maybe other people? I can't tell you like how many emails I get saying, I can't believe, you know, you said do this, this happened and blah, blah, blah. And I, I'd be like, what? How come it's happening for them quicker than me? And I think it's because they had an external belief that, okay, so, she, you know, um, I've got the extra confirmation. So if you're like, you don't have confirmation, you may question a little bit more. Like, um, for me, um, it's very hard to read my own cards um, or get messages for myself. But I can instantly pick up messages for others, even, even when I'm next to them, it's worse. That's why I don't like being in crowds. Um, so, and I think it's like very hard to lie to me, but when people lie to me, I'll ignore them and pretend like, oh yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta play the fool to let a fool think they fool you. So I'm just like, oh yeah, because like, I'm like, it's not a big deal to me. I'm not gonna um, let that energy drag me down. But then I wonder, well, you know, when I meet a soulmate, you know, because I'll already know, um, will I be able to like fall in love with a soulmate? But it's not like that. I'm often blinded to things like that, lessons I need to learn. I'll walk into it very blind. Um, so yeah. So you guys, um, you saw my cards, right? That I posted today. That was a read I did for myself. Um, and I had a proposal. I'll tell you next time what I said.